Welcome back. It is already that time, but before I get into it, make sure you guys drop a like down below and as well subscribe to the channel with your post notifications on. And without further ado, let me hop right into this by saying I have grinded the draft promo and with two days remaining, I'm able to get a foil because I got an iconic like a while ago and I have been, you know, saving up grinding to get another iconic. I'm about to get a foil. I'm about to trade them for some, you know, Mad Max tokens. Get a random Animax Iconic. Let's go. Today's the day. We're doing good. I love to see it. I've just been grinding the challenges. Just been on the grind and uh, it paid off. You should be able to get a Madden Max every two weeks. Or should I say every promo? So as long as you're grinding the promo, you should be able to get a Madden Max. And all that. Now, with the uh, community challenge on the draft... It looks like we're not really going to hit it, but I just want to let you guys know right now, stop autoing events. If you auto events, it doesn't count as multiple events played. The more events you play by just clicking on it and playing it, the more this will go up. You guys keep autoing events, you're cutting it in half. That's why we haven't hit the, you know, limit that fast. I feel like a lot of people are autoing events. That's just why. I just want to put that out there. We got two days. If you guys just actually play your full events, you'll... You know hopefully increase that bar a little higher you know we can get an epic i don't need an epic but that's just for people who i guess need one but yeah with that out of the way i'm excited let's get into this wait i'm too excited oh i'm clicking everything okay there we go go up here let's claim our uncommon i gotta put this into the rare trade to get my rare player and then put my rare player into my epic trade get my epic and then i have done it here we go. Epic select. We need the Ogard. I did the random iconic trade and got the Ogard because you should do a random one if you don't want the player. And then I just did the select for it and uh, it paid off. So yeah, let me go ahead and claim this right here. And then I have two of them and then I'm going to foil it and then I'm going to just throw them in for my Madden Max tokens. I'm happy. I'm excited. This is the best part. Like, towards the end of the promo is, like, the best part. Because it just finally happens. All your grinding pays off. I want that animation. Why not? Let's see it. Ooh, I just love... It's a different animation. It just it glistens. Because it's, like, a shiny card. But yeah, that's cool. Nice to see. Now we just go ahead to the Season 8 Tradents. And put that in for 857 Madden Max tokens. The thing is, too, with uh, my grind with Madden Max, I've been grinding also just by trading other players in. And I have, what, 526 Mad Max tokens? Like, I can almost get another Max player without grinding promo. So, basically, like, throughout, like, your grind of the promo, you can possibly stack up some tokens to also hopefully get another random. The thing is, too, though, because I've been grinding a little extra, if I claim my foil right now, I do have a Max badge, I can get a select, but I just don't want to select. So, yeah. Also, I have... Ryan Jensen, which is the center for Madden Max, and Jalen Waddle for offense. I'm getting an offense one. If I do get one of them again, I'm foiling them. If I don't, I'll be happy because I get a new one on offense. The goal is to get a new player. That's basically it. But there we go. Foil traded in. And uh, it's happening. Here we go. Let's see who I get. Hopefully, it's a new Madden Max offensive player. But if it is one that I already have, yeah, I guess we'll foil it. But, hey, let's see. Here we go. Update team is always good because it's new. NA Soul. I hope I pronounced that right. We got O-Line. Okay. So, hey, O-Line's getting upgraded. Let me just tell you guys that right now. The O-Line is getting upgraded, which is good. I do need my O-Line upgraded. You know what's funny, too? I just got an O-Guard, and I just traded my full O-Guard for a Mad Max Oh, tackle not the same position but still it's uh, basically i switch o-line for o-line so yeah let's best line up that look at that 137 overall added the o-line is looking better and better which is fantastic hopefully soon you know i can do another offensive one and pick up hopefully randall cunningham bo jackson count waller i don't know we'll see i might do a select next i might do a random actually i might go defensive because i only have one yeah maybe i'll switch it up maybe i'll go defensive Max for my next one i get 
and then I'll bring it back to offensive because I do want the quarterback like and have back and tight end like I do want to stack up the offense it's, you know as you guys can see pretty sad right now at the moment but still we're getting amount of maxes though every promo I should be getting one and throughout my journey I could possibly get another as you guys can see I mean, you know just tr putting in and trading in all of my other random players as I have like how much how much do I have right now 543 out of 840 for another random so yeah if I get like some epics or rares on the comments I'll throw them in I never throw in regular iconics throughout promos because I can just take that iconic and get another one boil it up and just get 857 also for season nine uh they're like 900 and something for foils i think 933 or something i don't know i, I saw it before but it's more than what the season eight trade-ins are these are 857 the other ones are like 900 plus for season nine which is great so that means whenever i get a foil throughout like season nine i will basically get 900 plus which is fantastic and season nine does come out in 19 hours so yeah let's go hey got another metamax that's pretty nice I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.